as of right now, it's very common for out of hospital cardiac arrest to be called if there are maybe conclusive signs of death. But typically, once you start working a code, if you work in any sort of system where hospitals are around every single corner, are we really calling these codes once we start them? Not really. Usually we're allowing the hospitals to make those decisions. Prioritizing on-scene resuscitation focused on achieving sustained ROSC before initiation of transport for most adults and children experiencing out-of-hospital cardiac arrest can be beneficial in the absence of special circumstances. I wish they would be a lot more forthcoming with what are these special circumstances. Of course, we can come up with some probably ourselves, but I think this is great. They're saying that let's put more emphasis on out-of-hospital cardiac arrest care instead of just rapid transport. And the reason behind this is ERs are going to be doing the exact same ALS procedures that out-of-hospital care providers are going to be doing. As long as, again, that team of -of out-of-hospital care, let it be EMS or fire rescue, whoever that is running that call has enough people and materials and everything to safely and effectively run that code. Tempting to transport patients to the hospital while CPR is ongoing, compromises CPR quality, and can risk the safety of rescuers and should be reserved for situations where it is believed to significantly improve the patient's odds of survival. So this is an interesting one here. 